Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jack Spot from Windows Phone Hacker, and I'm just going to show you a quick little look at the upcoming Themes application. So this is Themes version 2, which is a complete rewrite of the original Themes application, and takes a lot of pain out of the uh, process of applying themes to your device uh, that was seen in the previous version of this. Uh, so basically, if we dive into the application, um, and head over to, we have, over here we have a gallery that has sort of a list of themes that are available to download off of the WPH server, uh, which theme designers and such uh, will be able to submit their themes uh, to the server to, to appear over here. Um, and then, of course, they're cited with attribution and all that stuff. Um, and then over here, after you um, say I want to download this theme, tap OK. It says success and it's installed. I head over into themes and I have here um, all the tiles of the themes that I've installed. Um, so Similar to the previous version, since there's really no other way to mass pen tiles onto your home screen, uh, basically what you're going to have to do is tap on a tile, and it will send it over to your home screen, and then hit back and tap on the next tile you want, etc. Uh, but basically, that's the process to pin them onto your uh, onto your start screen. And then, as you would expect, the tiles, you know, you just uh, over on your home screen, you just tap on whatever tile you want to launch. Example settings, and jumps into settings, etc., etc. So the major change of this version of the application is essentially that instead of having to deploy themes from your computer, you can just um, download themes from the WPH server directly on your device and apply them, and even mix and match tiles from different themes on your home screen. Um, as you can see, you know, it does, uh, especially with Windows Phone 7.8, it does look pretty neat uh, being able to apply um, some other themes onto your uh, start screen just to sort of customize the feel of the place. Um, on the other hand, a couple of the annoyances are still here, such as the, uh, the fact that you have to, again, with the pinning, and also that uh, this basically disables the ability to have live tiles on things such as messaging and all that because again these are now static tiles so I can't really add in dynamic information to them. Um, it is actually technically possible to add for some things, for example I can technically add uh, little notifications onto the messaging tile for rooted devices and if there's a big demand for that then I'll see about adding that but really uh, I can only add that for the messaging tile and maybe missed calls. I'd have to double check on that. Uh, but other than that, because there's just not a way to be able to get that data in the background and apply it to the tiles. So again, this does come with a price, um, but there there has been some uh, genuine interest in this project over the last few months. Uh, and so hopefully people will uh, appreciate it for whatever value it has. So again, this is a demonstration of Themes 2.0 for Windows Phone 7, and hopefully this uh, new version will be uh, beta tested sometime in the next week. And as you can see, it's working fairly well now. I just got to work out a couple of kinks and get some themes together. And if you have a theme that you want to go ahead and send to me and I can put it in the repo, then let me know so I can get a good base of themes uh, in the application for when I launch it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to give them to me uh, either in the comments in the video or on my website at windowsphonehacker.com.